Alrighty folks, uh, we're back and we're going to play, oh, I forgot to change the game display, my apologies. We're back with Devilry. Which is an evil Bellary, you are totally right with that AJ. Um, so yes, this is Devilry, this will probably be the last game for tonight. Um, oh god, it's got a very interesting settings menu. Uh, jump space bar action keys info I interact E one two things okay was sprint okay we should be all right what Easy, hard, normal, timed, mortality, lights so out, hunted, old mansion, sever, limits, enigma. Also, has bell sounds when we go anywhere. Let's just do normal and, and see what, what comes of this. Devil Ray! Devil Bell Ray! Seven, oh eight, twelve. Clara, hey Damien, it's getting a little late. Just putting the kids to bed, calling it a night. Uh, you, nope, I didn't see that because I was looking at the thing. Apologies, and I've been hiding behind my thing as well, so you probably wouldn't have seen it. Um, why did that statue get darker the closer I got to it? Okay, well. Use door. This uh, this house looks very familiar already. Newspaper clipping. Fear sweeps a village as a local child goes missing on August 7th. Fears, feared to be kidnapped, the parents outside the estate at the time noticed a gaunt female intruder on the night. Gaunt female. Gaunt is not a word I, I remember very well. What does gaunt mean? Anyone who's good with words that's not an idiot like myself. Use tap, you have full health. You say I'm idiot. Check up on Ke Clara, check up on Ellen, check up on Adrian. Ah, right. Okay. Basement. So what does it mean? It means uh, thin in the face and sickly looking. Right. Okay. Can I take the candle? I would worry having a lit candle in that room with all the um, all the wooden furniture. Damn robot rock. We found another door out. Do we live in a fucking castle? It's a good idea to frequently check up on your family. To frequently check up on your family. Why? Why should I need to frequently check up on my family? Am I suspecting them of something? Someone is... Someone's here. I can't see who they are, but someone's here. That's Ellen, apparently. Okay. Oh, sorry, AJ. I'll try to move slower. Who's this? That's... That's, uh, Clara. Apparently. Oof. Alright, man. No problem. You, uh, you take care and I will catch you next time. Tomorrow for Phasmo. Yes, tomorrow for Phasmo. Uh, can we turn the light on to see this person? No, we can't. Well, we can't. 
They're hovering! I need to find Adrian. Adrian! Where, where would we find an Adrian? There's a door here, apparently. I really can't see a damn thing. Can I change the... Menu? Yes, no. I, I, I don't want to go in out the game. I just want to, you know, be able to see better. I just want to find Adrian. Where is Adrian? Is this Adrian? No, that's Clara. Where's Adrian? Oh, hang on. Aha! Pick up baby monitor. Def hold I to see info. Currently selected item. Why is there an alarm going off? I don't know what I'm doing. What is that? Pick up. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. There's a siren going off. What's the bonging for? Why why is there bonging?
open it on you. I don't know what I'm, I really don't know what I'm doing. Please tell me, I don't know what I'm doing. I've just put a spotlight in that room. I don't know why. Ow. You died. Spacebar respawn. I di why, why did I die? How did I die? What am I meant to be doing? Menu. Yes. I don't get what I'm meant to be doing. Easier to see the ghost. Defeat the ghost. Ghost is more aggressive, least access to items. Guide. The objective of Devil is to use the weapons and items scattered around the house in combination to defeat the ghost. The ghost has strengths and weaknesses when both visible and invisible. Stunning the ghost first is important to dealing it damage. The description of what each item does can be read with the I key. Having an array of items that help locate, stun, or hinder the ghost can be useful. Most game modes allow you to replenish and check your remaining health from taps. I don't know what it wants me to do, but I will try again. I don't see this game lasting very long, I'm afraid. No problem, I'll be home in half an hour. Okay. Sake, but I don't know there was a light switch. Everything's moved around again since the last time. So that's Clara. Oh, 
That's Ellen. And this is me unable to walk a doorway. Um, I should know there's a UV camera over there. Oh no, there was, there isn't any more. Fuck. Um, I don't know where anything is now. Help. Help. Oh no, this child is here. Not outside door. Where the fuck do I find anything? Oh, I've got a candle. I have a candle. I'm sure that must help. Poison. Yeah, I've got a candle and some poison. I've got on the go well, right? Oh fuck, there's a f there's an attic? I did not know about this before. It's a big fucking attic as well. Fuck, okay. There's, there's more poison there. Uh, what's that? A flare. I don't think I need a flare. I really don't think I need fucking poison, but I've got some. Oh, where's my candle? Oh, my candle just ran out. Is that how it goes? Oh, there's a bear trap. Yeah, fucking A. I'm going to take a bear trap with me. that ghost I think it did it just triggered the bear trap uh, flower I don't have a flower anymore poison I, I don't know what the fuck's happening I don't get what the fuck's going on
No, she's fine. Where's the other one? And she's fine as well. I just want to find the ghost so I can point this massive light at it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it punched me. Yeah, I I think this is uh, I think this is a no. I don't really understand what I'm doing. I don't really get it. And to be honest, it's not been that great. Um, do we have anything else I could roll into because I don't really want to have this video just be 20 minutes long. Um, <laughs> what else do I have? Sure I've got something. Must have something, some weird and bizarre indie horror that I've not played yet. Uh, let's see. No, I'm not playing Ren Renoir again. Um, what have we got? What have we got? We've got Perseverance, but I think that's a visual novel, and I think I'd probably like to do both of them on their own at some point. Um, oh, I know what we do have. That I've been meaning to get around to playing. We have Annie in the Art Gallery, which is supposed to be a horror game. Let's uh, let's try that. Let me just double check it is actually horror before we start. It's a psychological JRPG horror. How bad can it be? I chose that one for you last time to make. To make. Sorry, I'm. So. I'm half focusing on my game. It's the one I uh, chose last time for you to play. Time for it. Well, we're trying it now. This is meant to be, uh, this is meant to be horror. We shall find out if it actually is. So let's just update that. Let's update the game as in. This is a, I believe, free game on Steam. I will just double check that. Yes, this is a free game on Steam. You can buy a digital art book for it, for like four quid, if you enjoy it. It is meant to be a psychological horror short soul... It's, it describes it as a souls-like short horror. Just, I don't know whether they're just bullshitting or whether it's actually going to be interesting, but... Let's find out. Let's find out, because this has been on my to playlist for a while. If you like it, it is free. Okay. I finally get a ticket to the new art exhibit. Let's go look around. I'm so excited to see everything. Use items by selecting them in the items menu. Some items to use automatically. Make sure to save the game frequently. Fuck, I'm bad at that. Move, run, interact menu. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a click to move, okay. Go talk to that person. Make friends with the goth person. I really like all of this art. A small, empty podium. Huh, is this incomplete? A painting of Tokyo's skyline. Whoa. I don't know why Annie now sounds like Keanu Reeves, but fuck it, we're gonna run with it. A picture of some sort of art museum. Several pieces are missing and there's police tape all over. A painting of some people you don't recognise. A 
painting of a blonde haired girl standing in front of a huge house. Is this stained glass? It's so pretty. Hey, I'm looking for my USB flash drive. Have you seen it? Sorry, I haven't. Okay. Uh... What's this? A painting of a sprawling outdoor marketplace. What have you got to say to yourself, friend? Hello, I am the director for this exhibit. We need to help with anything. Ask about the exhibit. This is really a new exhibit, isn't it? Yep. Just opened up a few months ago. I try to rotate what's showing up here. That way, every time you come back, you'll see something new. It's very Pokemon already. Oh, that's cool. Do you need any help with anything? Ask about the creator. So, who made all this art? Oh, you mean Brendan? I keep changing her voice. Should make it. You mean Brendan? Yeah, now you said I've heard of him. He's called Brendan, right? I am a pretty big fan. <laughs> He's actually right down the hall if you want to talk to him. You might not be able to, though. He tends to be very secretive. Huh. No. No, I'm just looking around. What is this? A statue of a girl with long hair. Wow. This statue almost seems alive. It's a little creepy, honestly. It's a lamppost. What's this doing here? Yeah, exactly my fucking point. An entrant... Entrix, intricately... Intricately decorated map of the world. An air vent. A painting of a large airport sitting on a peninsula. A painting of a sunny day. Hmm. Probably some kind of esoteric art. Yeah. Don't you think this is a bit weird? There's an entire exhibit full of beautiful art. And there's this. Some potted plants. Hi, Brendan. Hmm? Huh? Um, you're the guy who created this entire exhibit, aren't you? Well, I guess you know me pretty well, huh? So... You seem a pretty big fan, even though you've only said, like, one line to him. You bet I am. I, I think you've been interested in seeing more. If you're gonna sell me something. No, of course not. The museum keeps a storage area in the basement. That's where I keep the art I'm working on now. I was just wondering if you'd like to see it. That wow! You're letting me see behind the scenes? Yeah. Why me? Well, you seem like you'd be interested, I guess. Uh, well, you're right. I'd, I'd love to see everything. All right, cool. Follow me. You know, follow people into basements. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Behind the scene access, I'm so excited. Let's go. Do I just press down for this? Do I? Is it loading? What does the down arrow mean? What does the flashing down arrow mean? Do I just... Oh, it means press space, you twat. Uh, where did... Where did Brendan go? A pile of clay. A traffic cone. This is kind of random. And a little ominous. Make sure to save your game frequently. 
You never know what will happen. Oh, I suppose I should save then. Since I never know what will happen. A table! It's locked. What are these that weird... Oh. Whoa. That was close. Ah! What the... It's a globe. There's a large hole in the wall. Why is the basement so run down? It's some kind of switch. I guess it could come in handy. Got a switch. Now we're as good as Bellary. There's a little piece of paper taped to this. Get all four switches to reach the exit. Well, I suppose we better save then. Oh, there was a friend there. Hello, Brendan, hello. Where'd he go? Well, I might as well look around. Maybe some of his art is down here. I'm so excited to see everything. A crate. There's some unmolded clay inside. So I suppose Brendan used it to create all those cool sculptures. He's really good at it. A crate. Oh, that's the, the crate thing again. Can I put the switch there? No. A crate. There's some different colours of clay inside. Roar! I didn't know they had some of them colours. Red's me favourite. Never have guessed by the bow. A wooden table. It's a mound of clay. I guess I'll hold on to it. What else could I do? Exactly. Just randomly steal thing. Ew, this is so gross. And we're pushing a pot over there. Oh, the pot just broke. Huh. Why did it break? To clay exhibit. The, the clay exhibit? Bend and arrange entire exhibits down here? Weird. Can't take the fire extinguisher. There's a square shaped hole in the door. Maybe it's some kind of lock. Huh. Maybe I need something square shaped to open the door. Wait, what? It's locked. It's locked from the other side. Wait, what? It's locked. Can I push the block? No. Hmm, okay. What's that thing? Maybe we push the clay into it and that. Hmm, the clay is the right size. But it isn't hardened, so it doesn't fit properly. If only I had like an oven or something. Maybe I'm missing something else. Hmm. Wait a minute. If only I had an oven. I mean, I don't know how she did that, but okay, fair enough. The clay fits perfectly. It's, it's okay, honey. Anything to get out here, you know? Not really sure how we managed to do that, but okay. Chapter 1, the clay exhibit. Hello? Brendan? 
Brendan? Hello? I really don't like this. I suppose we should save. Oh, we can't save here. Oh, oh well. The statue looks familiar. Looks very like you, yes. Only blue. Uh, is it me or... Especially big mound of clay. A box with some clay shaping tools inside. These look pretty sharp. We'll, we'll take them then. Potted plants. Oh, they smell pretty nice. Well, in comparison to the basement, which smells really musty. Hey, it's another one of those switches. Nice. Got a switch. Huh? What's that noise? What the shit? Oh. Well, at least it let me save before that. Hmm, okay. to be doing but it's a pile of clay that's welded to the floor what the hell that's weird okay well that's not the answer then Let me catch us if she stands in the back. Okay, well. That time I just went. Oh, sorry. It wouldn't let me move because the cat was lying on my keyboard. bottles. I think I can't take them then. It's locked. Get away! Fuck. What the fuck is right? A small key. It was inside the statue. Got a clay key. Statue with an air vent behind it. I've got to keep going. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we're not looking at those bottles then. Use the clay key on the door. It feels like this place is haunted. All the art down here is alive. What the hell did I just walk into? And someone flashes the lights. Ah! What the hell? Power just go out. It 
Damn it. What do I do now? Well, I have my fire. What if... Oh wow, that was crazy bright. That should work. Alright, let's keep going. Wow, it's really dark in here. I'm gonna keep looking for more of those switches. It said that I need four. Maybe there's another one behind that locked door where the moving statue was. Gotta figure out how to unlock that door. Press shift to light up briefly, keep an eye on your energy. Door control room exit. What's this? I heard a door opening somewhere. Bet that was a door back where the statue started chasing me. Let's go back there. It's locked, I think. Well, don't think. No. Try it. Painting of a pocket watch. Painting of a girl with neon blue hair. Box and arrangement of pottery. It's open now. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. An air vent. What is that mirror doing? These are all just bookshelves? Yeah. Painting of a huge library. A table with a red book on top. Yes, take the red book. 
Hello? Not yet. Can I interact with events actually? No. I swear if this thing moves another inch I'm gonna lose it. Maybe, maybe that's not, maybe we need to put that red book back on one of the shelves. Maybe that's what it is. Because that would make sense, right? Yeah, there's a one with a space here. One of the red books is missing. Items. Red book. There's no table there. You fit the red book in the but you have to be facing the thing, so yeah. You hear something move, but it sounds like it came from every direction at once. Hello, hello Annie. I have a question for you. Do you like having your fire? What? N no, I hate it. I hate being different. I just want to live a normal life. I don't want to have to worry about keeping it hidden. It just fucking sucks. Hmm. You must have found it pretty useful back in that dark room. I mean, I guess. I feel like this place is designed for me. The hole in the door that could only fit hard and clay could fit through the power going out. Who knows? Who are you? Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, all right. Heard a noise somewhere nearby. The table is a blue book on top. Do you want to take it? Yes. Or, or say or both of them. You fit the blue book back in the empty space. Here's something clattering on the ground behind you. Switch. I heard a clattering noise far, far away. Well, I think we've done everything here. Why is that strange punch sound always playing when I go past that one? 
What is that? A knife hanging down from the wall. Well, I have three switches now, but there should be one more. I've looked everywhere else. It's got to be in this room somewhere. I think. There's a door unlocking somewhere close by. Alright, time to head for the exit. Finally! Looks like I'm past that whole mess. I still have no clue what's going on. I really gotta go find Brandon. Brandon? Brendan. He should know what's going on. He has to know what's going on. A traffic cone. Again? It's getting kind of eerie. What is that? A strange looking table. To the origami exhibit. An origami exhibit? That's new. Hey, my Brendan is there. Let's go. It's a light. It's off right now. Put a switch in the socket. 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 Heard a door unlocking. All right. What's in the box? Box is smaller. See what box is out of it. Come on, seriously. Box lots of empty frames. I wonder what's going on. Something's going. Ah. I wonder what's going to go in there. What the? Whoa! What the hell? What what just happened? Where is this place? Why is that cone there? Why are all the cones there? Uh, hello? Where am I? What is this place? Who are you? that I know she's going for like eight different voices this recording no seriously what the hell what is going on down here eventually I'll stick to her voice Ryan sort of rolling around between like eight different types what is the stick man drawing red roses Red Rose is a girl that's trapped in an art museum, it seems familiar, who knows. Inspiration for the setting behind Annie's adventure. Hmm, okay. What the hell? Why does this keep happening? 
That's 12 cloud riding people. Oh. I have to stare. Ah, oh, that's Brandon. Brandon, I finally found you. Uh, hi, there you are. Where did you go? Where did you go? The voices around the entrance area for you to come through, but never saw you. That's... I came right after you. Well, clearly you didn't, because... Never mind. It's alright. We found each other. We should probably get going. It's a pretty bad feeling about down here. Y yeah, me too, Brendan. Do you, do you know what the hell's going on down here? I, uh... This is very different from the last time I was down here. And have you seen any... What was that? This thing again? Get back. Get... Get... Back. Well, maybe I could burn it again. But then I'd have to spill the beans to, Brand to Brendan. Not the beans. I'll explain it to him later. Brandon, you should probably stand back. Wait, wait, what? Why? Why? Just trust me, okay? Um, okay. What? What the? You? What kind of hell was that? I... <laughs> it's a long story. Hey, Crimson. Jeez, honey, I'm sorry for tricking you down here. It's... It's alright. Let's go find an exit together. Yeah. Jeez, not even a thank you from Brandon. Rude. I, I don't know what you were, but I'm sorry. Really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why she ended up with the sort of Batman husky voice, she just did. Um, if you're interested at all, this is a free game on Steam. It's not been very long, but it's been, it's been alright. So what's the deal? Did you trip over a radioactive campfire? Were you bathed in a vat of lava as a kid? I wish I was to both of those, but I'm honestly not the right person to ask all about all of this. Basically, it affected a group of people from around the time I was born. Nobody really knows exactly what it was. Maybe the government had something to do with it. Maybe it was some kind of higher power. Who knows? But now I have these powers, abilities, a curse. Ah, cool. Um, but yeah, I, f I found this a couple of, couple of, must have been a couple of months ago. But yeah, it looked interesting. It, it apparently claims to be psychological and normal horror. It says Souls-like as well, which I don't really understand. But it's alright. It's good enough for a free game. I don't know what to call it. I think she just started being a noir, a noir detective and it just sort of snowballed from there. <laughs> But that's basically it. I wish I knew more of the specifics, but I'm really not the right person to ask. That's crazy. I... Whoa. I, uh, kinda expected you not to believe me. No, no, I do. There's just a lot to take in. Well, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. <laughs> That's a very good point. Um, do I want to ask any questions? 
I don't know. About the art gallery. So what's the deal with this place? Why is it, like, haunted? Honestly, I'm not sure. I haven't been down here in a few weeks. Trust me, this is all really strange to me, too. Can you think of anything this could be, like... Did you intend to make moving art? I don't think so. I hope not. Ah, uh, about him. Brandon, how did you get in the business of becoming an artist? Uh, you know what? I honestly can't remember much about how I started out. I think I just decided to try it one day and ended up liking it. And now, well... It That's really cool, I just picked it up. I can't remember if I told you this already, but I... I love all your art, Brendan. I hope you keep it up. Uh, thanks. Uh, this if you have any questions about the... Uh, you know... Do you like having this power? No, I don't. Not at all. It sucks. Why? Wouldn't it be great? It just sucks to be different. I don't want to have to be constantly be hiding it from everyone. I just want to be able to live a normal life without having to worry about this. But I can't. No, I get it. How about other people? Do you know if you're the only one with these powers or with others like you? Oh yeah, there were others. I've actually gotten to meet a few. Uh, everyone has really different abilities. As far as I know, people were affected of all over the world. But there's no organized group or anything. The X-Men haven't been founded yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. So, wait. He happened back when you were born and I'd never heard anything about it. Even though earlier it seems like I hadn't met you before, apparently this is important. Uh, yeah. It's just another thing the government is keeping secret from us. Well, well, well that's definitely something. Yeah. It's both a blessing and a curse. Mostly a curse, though. I hate having this ability. All I can do is hurt people. I just want to live a normal life, but I can't. I am the bad man. I'm sorry, Annie. How does he know your name? Maybe he said earlier, I can't remember. We should get going, who knows what's going to happen if we stay down here too long. Yeah. Hey, uh, super random question. Hit me. Then a big thwock appears in the middle of the screen. How do you? What was that? Sorry, what was that? It's her. And them. Brandon, what the hell is that? Uh, I need a voicemail. Fabricant. <laughs> All right, okay. She's gonna be a fabricant. Get out of here. Brandon. Well, you know my other option would have been Uri. What? Where did it go? Brandon, what was that? We should really get moving. It's just not safe down here. What? Who? It's not. It's nothing. Ending. Everything's fine. Just, just find the exit. All right. Okay. Box was one more to clay. I see it's done the full G RPG thing of having a follower that just runs after you. A box with stickers inside. Fantastic. No problem, Crimson. Cheers for stopping by, man. Take care and have a, a good week. Uh, good weekend when it comes. He wasn't as surprised as I thought he'd be when I told him that story. I... I think he already knew. 
Also, how does he know my name? I never told him, did I? And Ferris's voice does work with sort of self-reflection questions. That's proper noir thinking. Oh, I've got to save again, okay. Ah, uh, Brendan. Yeah? Who, who was that? He's not important. Trust me. But... Manny, just drop it. It's a small paper dragon! An origami dragon. Wow, this is really pretty. Yeah, thanks. Can we, can we take the origami dragon? No? Okay. It's a shame. And in the art gallery, chapter 2, the origami exhibit. Wow. This origami is all really pretty. Thanks. It took a long time to get everything right. I bet it did. You know, I've been trying to get a ticket here for months. And now I'm finally here, talking with the creator. Although I didn't expect to be trapped with him in a basement, surrounded by moving statues and art. Yeah, fun times. Thank you, Ken. Um, um. Did you literally just say a hem? Never mind. We should probably focus on finding the exit. Uh, yeah, sorry. Some green origami laying on the ground. I really do like the little dragons. Brandon, where did you get the inspiration for all these pieces? Huh? Oh, it depends, honestly. Beware the loop. The, the, the loop? What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Oh, I like butterflies. Luffy, can you not tap my keyboard, please? It's that time of day again. It is. It's locked. A small blue podium. box with some origami paper inside. Oh, Brandon, do you use this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. A box with some loose construction paper. A box with lots of different characters, paintbrushes. Been around here before. Game over? Okay. We can skip these because we've we've done these before. I'll have to save again.
It was actually a, sorry, it's actually a portrait of a picnic and I the family when I was little. I guess it really stuck in my memory. Cool. Is this, is this? I, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, it's a Ouija board. Wonderful. Well, let's just see if here we've burned through and everything. I'm not sure what I did last time to unlock it. You should try those on. Bet they look cute on you. No. I'm the bad man. I, I don't wear blue. Sorry. Got a pair of blue shoes. A switch. Some sort of switch. It's welded to the floor. Really? That's just evil. to get past this paper that keeps attacking me. Paper's attacking you? Yeah, just a piece of paper that keeps attacking me. still attack me while I'm in the middle of the thing that's kind of weird. A recycling bin, this bit's a torn rope inside. Get rid of the paper bit then. But sometimes it just doesn't want to react, and it's kind of weird. have to get the shoes and get back out again. Cat. No. Oh, 
It's very difficult to tell where the paper's gonna go because it just kind of reaches next to you and then it kind of goes, you're dead. Let's go, it's right behind us. seen anything like it before. No, let's save at that point. So we don't have to do that scene again. Seems familiar. What the hell? In between the clocks. Unreal. The girl and her unreal life. Inspiration for the aspects of conflict during Anna's adventure. thinking. Thanks. What's with all of these? No clue. I heard a door unlocking somewhere. with this place. At these points, even I don't really know. Just make sure you keep your guard up. Ah, uh, rusted nails. I told you, you have to take this seriously. Why is a blood splatter everywhere? An empty crate, it's very blue. Fake door drawn on canvas. It looks so real. Yeah, this one was really hard to get right. I uh, had to lose a lot of references. Making all the small cracks in the wood was really tricky. Switch. Okay, so you just said stop loudly a bunch of times. Did time stop? Inspiration for the general story elements. I see. Okay. 
Ah, there's the shoes. There's a pair of blue shoes on the table. They seem welded on. A box. There's absolutely nothing inside. It's locked. In case I haven't set the room up properly. Put the shoes on the table? Yes. It's locked. I need to smash that pot. Yes. A box, there's absolutely nothing inside. Make the room symmetrical. Well, I'm working on that. It's a blank note on the wall. It's locked. Can I change the colours of those? Aha. Yes, I can. How did I change that colour? There we go. Oh, it's because those colours are the wrong word. A trash bin is just one piece of paper in each slot. It's not symmetrical if they're backwards though. Can I pick that up? It's not symmetrical then. Tackle cat. Dot tackle cat, that's wrong. Can I swap them around? Because they would... I don't know if they'd be any different the other end. back you make sure that the pot is symmetrical the room is symmetrical huh it's still locked did, didn't it 
just... Hmm. Maybe something changed about the room to throw us off. Oh, the shoes turned white. Oh, these changed. They feel like glass. Hmm. How do you suppose I get these to look like glass shoes? If the killer is painted on, you might be able to burn it off. At least I think so. I'm not too sure this kind of paint works. Shouldn't he know? I mean, he did make these right. <clears throat> I guess it's worth a shot. That worked pretty well. They just look like the other ones. Great job. Heard a door unlocking behind you. Nice. Huh? Did they just fall down? I think so. Does that mean we get to keep them? I'm all for that. What are these blue things? Painting of a girl in a hospital bed. Oh yeah, this thing. I originally made the statue of one of my friends, but over the past few months it's been slowly morphing. Weird. I know, right? The art turn here is alive, any? Any? Stay back. Hey, Brendan. Why are you still here? Why are you trying to do this? It's not gonna work. Kylie, just stay away from us, okay? Annie, we have to get out of here. Wait, oh, so you know her name? Who is she? Annie, we've been over this. It's not important. It's important. Just... Just stop. You can't do anything about this. Just let us leave. That's not what you're gonna do, Brandon. Just get out. Leave us alone. Yeah, what else? Or what? You're used to this, Kylie. I... I am not useless. Jane, cut, cut it out. I can't believe you two are still friends after everything. Um... Shut up! Annie, run! I can't remember where we are, if it was. Oh, it must be that door. It's open. Go, go, go. <sighs> Brandon, I think we made it. Oh, shit. Hang on. Ah, it's meant to be adjustment. Where the cat's gone. Huh? What's wrong? I, I think... Ow. Ow. Brandon. Ow, 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 ow. Brandon. 
Oh shit. You're bleeding really badly. Did it stab you or something? I don't know why I've gone incredibly low pitch husky. Andy? Brandon! Brandon, answer me! Fluid is barely conscious. Just looking for an exit. I don't know what's going on. I just wanted to look at the exhibit. I just, I, I just want to leave. I want to go home. Jay, let her go. She hasn't done anything to us. Just uh, let her leave. Doctor? No, we won't. What? It's really, really badly. Holy fuck, Al. What are you doing? Cauterizing it. Oh. Do you want me to tell you a story or something? My doctor loves to do that to me. Please don't. Oh. You're taking this pretty quietly. Ow, 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 ow. Well, okay. I'm done. Brandon. I guess the pain got to him. But it looks like it stopped bleeding. He should be fine. You know, I'm actually pretty tired myself. All that running around we just did. I guess I'll take a little nap. was nice. Hey, where's Brendan? Hello? Not again. Oh wait, there's a note here. Hey Yanni, if you're reading this, I'll wait out exploring for a bit. I'll be back soon, Brendan. Oh, he just left me. Bruh. Well, I better go look for him. Maybe he found the exit. Painting of a decrepit old mansion in Ireland. Snow is falling outside and the painting is dated 
She could totally be one of them. The ability to turn into a ghost. That sounds kind of shitty. Oh, she controlling the art. Huh. There's nothing this way, so it must be the other way. He already knew about a lot of people like me. He, he knows my name. That's really fucking terrifying, honestly. Wait, didn't they also mention someone else? J Jane, right? Who is she? Another ghost? How does Brendan know all these people? Where did they even come from? This is so weird. This looks just like Kylie. There's a USB flash drive in one of the drawers. Yes. Take it. That was a real thing all along. You know, I get the feeling that Brandon's been lying to me. Like a lot. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. Who? Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeti, don't be afraid. Huh? Why not? All you've done is stalk us. How do you know my name? Why? Why does everyone know my name? Why is. Why is any of this happening to me? It's going to be all Batman now, it's kind of sad. Yanni, you can trust me. I'll let you get out of here, I promise. I've really got really weird voices for this. That's more than Brendan ever did. Wow. Okay. Who are you? Because you're not alone in are you the house. one who's haunting us? Wow. Are you controlling all the art? Wow. Um... Robin. He tried to get into the bedroom and feel the noise upset. Okay. Nope, that would be Jane. Jane. I went into the bedroom, Father. I am oh. helping you, you're right. I need another voice. I can't, I can't do that, otherwise everyone just go meow. Sounds like me. Um, he said I'll just come up with Uwe because that's the first part. Uwe, okay. Hi. You are a ghost too. Yes. Hey, hey, hey Addy, so, sorry for messing with you earlier. We weren't sure who you were. All we saw that you, you were the Brendan, so, uh, it's all right. Wait, what's wrong with Brendan? Brendan, uh, caused this whole mess with us being, you know... What? He turned you into ghosts? Well, uh, no, not exactly. Let me explain. I was affected by the same thing you were, any. But nothing ever happened to me. I guess uh, I just I was just one of the lucky ones. But one day about a year ago, I suddenly got really sick and had to go to the hospital. 
the doctors there were really nice they were trying to work out some kind of cure but uh, one of the doctors had a different idea in mind Brendan he took a special interest in me he was uh, acting really strangely one night he woke up, up from bed I was barely awake so he asked me to follow him I did no. the way he was talking should have conclude me in that he was to what he was about to do I'll wait till the the background noise of Mary vs. Cat has gone down. Damn it, I should have known. Kylie, it's okay. You couldn't have known what was going to happen. But what happened? The, uh, Brendan... Brendan took me to a different room with a bed and a big machine. He uh, gave me an injection, the next thing I know, well, my vision went white for a long time. When I could see again, I was floating above the operation table. I think my body panicked and somehow figured out what my ability was. He still has three quarters of the sachet in his dish. Well, he's not happy though. He's being a little liar. I, I was just a ghost. All I could do was follow Brendan around, hoping he'd crash his car fall down the stairs, or something, but he never did. He just went back to his usual life as if he didn't ruin, just ruin mine. When I realized I couldn't turn myself back, I freaked the hell out. And I've been stuck like this for years, even though I said it was last year earlier at the start. I'm sorry, Kylie. He thought I was worthless. I can't believe I didn't see what was going on. Uh, Carly, it was... Jane, stop! No. Just, you don't get it, I... I said shut up. Guys, chill out. It's okay. Maybe Brendan was right. I never got any power. I believed him even when there were so many red flags. Maybe I deserve this. No, that's not true. Brendan did this to you. You just told me that. I find it hilarious when I, I go up by two viewers and immediately get to one point where I do a Batman voice and they go away again. Oh. Hey, uh, I have a weird question. Yes? What does Brendan want with me? Why did they lure me down here? I wish I knew any. He knew your name. He's been uh, talking about you for a little while. Well, I've never had a stalker before. This should be horrific. I can imagine. He's such a creep. I need to get back at him for what he did to us, both of us. Uh, right. Jane, what happened to you? Why are you a ghost too? Uh, well... Annie, where are you? Damn it. I'll explain later. Hey, Annie, listen to me. Brendan's the bad guy, you have to trust me here. I believe you. Uh, and I can try to make it seem like we're getting a more aggressive. Maybe Brendan will get scared and give you a chance to run away. Uh, that sounds good. And if we get another chance to talk, I'll try to get Jane to explain her story. Um. Hey, Annie. No, that's the wrong voice. Sorry. Uh, hey, Annie. Oh, uh, hi. What were you doing? I was just looking around, admiring all your beautiful art. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah.
Where? where, where? I scouted head through as I found the exit. What? Really? <coughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. Oh, thanks for helping with that wound earlier. I'm feeling way better now. Uh, you're, uh... You're welcome. That's probably why they didn't trust me at first. <sighs> well, don't you want to get out of here? Follow me. Oh. What should I do now?